One Piece, 10 Best Zoro Quotes Fan favorite Roranoa Zoro is one of the best characters in One Piece, and fans love the witty, tough, and enduring dialogue he spouts off. The greatest swordsman in the world of One Piece may have a horrible sense of direction. But he does possess words of wisdom. Roranoa Zoro is widely popular among One Piece fans, his popularity even surpasses that of the main character, on occasion. Fans can't seem to get enough of the ex-pirate hunter. His sternness, resolve, and somewhat comical nature resonates with many. Zoro is the type of person to tell it like it is, and that's refreshing. He tends to remind everyone, especially his captain, what world they're living in, which is a world of pirates. Since he's the first mate, it's up to him to lead when Luffy's not around, or not able to make the call. Here are some of the best quotes by Zoro. Ten, fine. I'd rather be a pirate than die here. Zoro makes this statement upon meeting Luffy. Due to unconventional circumstances, Zoro becomes a prisoner on a marine base. The swordsman is initially a pirate hunter, around this time in the series. The only reason why he switched careers is that his future captain gives him an ultimatum. Zoro is all about surviving. He will gladly take on any profession if it doesn't interfere with his goals. 9. Humph, aren't titles useless when it comes to fighting? The stronger one wins, that's all. Your rank doesn't matter to Zoro, especially in a fight. During the incident at Whiskey Peak, the first mate of the Straw Hats faces off against a slew of Baroque Works members. In Baroque Works the lower the number, the higher the skill land status level one has, within the company. However, Zoro isn't impressed with titles. His concern is who is the strongest. 8. There is someone I must meet again. And until that day, not even death himself can take my life away. After his duel with the warlord Myhawk, Zoro sustains some serious injuries, which he has not recovered from. Despite that, he still faces off against one of Arlong's cronies, Hachi, in the Arlong Park arc. During his fight with Hachi, the swordsman collapses from his injuries. Everyone believes he's on the brink of death, but somehow, Zoro gets back up. He then lets everyone know he refuses to die, until he's able to fight Myhawk again. Death can't even kill his resolve. 7. How did I end up following a captain like this? Many fans have been ultimately thinking the same thing for over 20 years. Roranoa Zoro is one that wouldn't hesitate to kill for survival. He evokes a haunting presence when he speaks that strikes fear in our hearts. In addition, many believe him to be the actual captain of the Straw Hats. So, yes, how did he Zoro end up following behind Luffy? 6. Only I can call my dream stupid. Zoro tells Sanji this upon meeting him for the first time. Sanji criticizes Luffy and Zoro both for following their dreams. Zoro then reiterates by saying only he can call his dream stupid. He takes offense to someone chastising his life choices. He knows the risk of choosing to be a swordsman but it's his choice, nonetheless. 5. Nothing happened. Following the fight with Warlord, Gekko Moria, another warlord, Kuma, appears to apprehend Luffy. With Luffy being knocked out from his fight with Moria, the Straw Hats rush to his defense. Unfortunately, Zoro is the only one left standing. After realizing Zoro will do anything to protect his captain, Kuma decides to spare Luffy's life. If Zoro can endure the pain that Luffy has. As being the first mate, Zoro agrees to the terms. Kuma uses his devil fruit power to remove the pain from Luffy's body. He gives it to Zoro and he barely survives it.
Sanji wakes up and sees Zoro covered in blood and Kuma gone. He asks Zoro what happened. Zoro simply replies, nothing happened. Four. What does teamwork really mean, anyway? Is it just about rescuing or protecting each other? There are people who believe that. But to me, it just sounds like kids playing around. Around the time when Chopper was the latest addition to the crew, he notices everyone is independent and Luffy doesn't mandate anyone to do anything. Zoro explains to Chopper they're not an ordinary pirate crew and Luffy's not an ordinary captain. Everyone knows their role on the ship, therefore, there is no need to keep tabs on them. He later explains to Chopper that most individuals that claim to believe in teamwork, won't pull their own weight when times get dire. 3. Scars on the back are a swordsman's shame. The first mate of the straw hats takes his goal as being a swordsman very seriously. After a brutal defeat from Myhawk, Zoro turns around to face him. Proudly. Zoro wants to look the person that defeated him in the eye, to exemplify that he is not a coward. Once, Zoro said those words the warlord gains a tremendous amount of respect for the young swordsman and decides to spare his life. He sees the man has conviction and he's curious to see what Zoro will do with it. <laughs> Being caught off guard could cost us our lives from now on. Zoro got extremely angry when he found out Luffy let Caesar Clown catch him off guard. After being defeated at Sabaity two years prior. Zoro is determined not to ever let that happen again. He knows the new world is a whole other ball game, compared to the Grand Line. Their lives are on the line, now, more than ever. Therefore, they can't afford for their captain to be beaten by someone such as Caesar. That's why Zoro immediately scolded Luffy after Usopp tells him about Luffy. Luffy understood why Zoro is upset and promised he won't let it happen again. 1. A crew with no respect and a captain that doesn't demand it falls apart quickly. Count on Zoro to remind everyone what's at stake, their lives. After the Straw Hats find out Usopp wants to join the crew again. Zoro stresses to everyone, especially to Luffy, that the sniper needs to apologize. Usopp needs to know there are consequences to his actions. Furthermore, he laments that he will leave the Straw Hats. If Usopp comes back without apologizing. If everyone just welcomes Usopp back with open arms, there is a chance he might do it again, since he has no respect for his captain. As the first mate, Zoro is right to let his captain and the other crew members be aware of this. This is not a game to him. <laughs>